hello friends in the current video tutorial i will be talking about a very good function available in labview in arrays palette which is known by the name delete array subset function this is used to delete a portion or an element out of an array and you can modify the array in this way suppose you want that you don't want a particular element or a particular subset of the array you can you want to delete it so you can use this function let's see this is the original 1d array i have generated this is the length of the array to be deleted and this is the index where from where the original 1d array has to be deleted this is modified 1d array and this is the deleted portion of modified 1d array so let's see how it works this is delete array subset function delete from array this deletes a subset of an array or an element from the function uh, from the array array so let's choose an index for modification point let it be 6 that means from 7th element onwards and length is let's say 10 7th elements onwards 10 elements would be deleted so let's run so from 7th element onwards that is 7 is not there up till 16 so 10 elements have been deleted this is the deleted portion of the array and this is the modified array so this is one dimensional version of this function let's see more about this this is the two dimensional version of this function i have generated a 2d array this is the 2d array and again number of rows to be deleted i have selected and row index for modification point i have selected this is again the same function delete from array this is the modified 2d array and this is the deleted portion of the 2d array let's see how it works let's generate five rows and four columns original 2d array row index or modification point is 2 and number of rows to be deleted is Let's say three. This is the original one D two D array. Modified two D array because three rows have to be deleted and the index for modification is two. That means from third row onwards, three rows will be deleted. This is the third row. index is 2 so third row onwards and three rows have been deleted and this is the deleted portion of the array let's see if we can delete the columns in the 2d version
in this I have wired the index point to the number of columns and row index is disabled this is the index for uh, this is the number of columns to be deleted this is the index per row and this is the index for column row index is disabled as have wired to the column index so again the same modified array and deleted portion let's choose the column to be let's generate some five rows and four columns let's just choose index for modification point to be two and number of columns to be deleted let's say again we delete three columns so at column index 2 that is from third column onwards the deletion is there and three columns have been deleted one two and three and these are the deleted columns and this is the modified 2d array let's see if we can do it for three dimensional array this is the three dimensional array I have generated and this is again the delete from array function this is the modified 3d array this is the deleted portion number of pages to be deleted I have wired length and page index for modification point I have selected let's see so let's first generate 3d array let the number of pages be 6 number of rows be 5 and number of columns be 4 page index for modification point is let's say begin from the second page onwards from second page onwards I am going to delete three, 3 pages and let's run the program so original 3d array is this this is the first page this is the second page this third page fourth page fifth page sixth page seventh page okay sixth page so let's see now three pages have to be deleted starting from the second page because the index chosen is 1 so the first page is 36 this is the first page of deleted second page is 50 this is the second page deleted third page is 81 third page is 81 which is the deleted and there is no fourth page this is the page which is not deleted this is the page which is not deleted and, and this is the first page which is not deleted so this is all about delete from array function available in arrays palette in labview i hope you have liked this video thanks for watching this video